Hey everyone, this is Space UGFX, and this is I'll be showing you how to do the, the wire text effect where it kind of goes through the letters. And um, we'll just get started, make a new um, make a new project, whatever resolution you want. And um, we're going to do a gradient, sort of like a, like a dark gray to black. And um, make it circular, I think I did. And just kind of drag down. There we go. And um, I'm going to bring in this texture. You can use any texture you want. And so uh spot that in. Make it the size of make it overlay the um the gradient. And um change the layer to overlay. And I uh, might want to mess with the opacity a bit. I'm actually gonna leave it at a hundred. And um yeah, just click this arrow key here and put, press place. So um now we're gonna make our text, get the type tool and write whatever. Um, I'm gonna make it a lighter gray actually. We'll just reposition that. And uh, on the text layer, you're gonna go to layer, layer style, bevel it, emboss, and uh, just turn the depth up a little bit. Just turn it all the way up, or whatever just looks nice. Size you don't really want to mess with, I don't think. And um, you can just click OK, and you're gonna go back layer, layer style, and go uh, to drop shadow, and turn the size to three, and uh, just click OK. So now you're gonna get your pen tool, and just kind of follow as I do, just like this. Just kind of click and drag. Okay, and um, before we do this, go on your brush tool, set the hardness to 100 and the size to about uh, 3 to 6 and um, say once you're done with that okay, whatever um, go back to your pen tool and right click stroke path and make sure simulate pressure is checked and just click OK and uh, actually we'll undo that undo stroke path, make a new layer and then do what we just did, stroke path Simulate pressure, click OK. And so now we have our squiggly lines here. And you can right click um, and delete paths. So now we're going to get your uh, your eraser tool. Set the um, size to maybe 13. And put the hardness to uh, uh, maybe 85 or 100. Doesn't, I don't think it matters. And just hold Control or Command and the plus key. Or you can just uh, set your percentage here to zoom in. And hold the space bar and just drag to move around. And um, what we're going to do, um, we're going to make it look like swords going under the letters. And I'm uh, actually going to make it smaller, a lot smaller, to maybe 6. And um, just kind of erase around here. Actually, we're going to set the soft, the hardness to about 20. Or actually, 0. Why not? And I just kind of race around, so it makes it look like you're going under. And um, maybe we'll leave that like it is. Maybe it's going under here. And uh, you can get creative with this pretty much any way you want. Um, but yeah, this is basically how I did it. Make sure you zoom in a lot so it looks accurate. Just go through all the letters. And uh, you can zoom out. And um, that's pretty much it. You could do uh, one more of those by making like a new layer and just scribbling again. But uh, for time's sake, I won't do that. And um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about anything, uh, leave in the comment box. And uh, please uh, rate and subscribe.